the last day of the decade. It's the last day of 2019. And us at Makosi today just want to reflect on the year, on the decade. And here are some of our best moments. Can I say, somebody saying something bad about you has nothing to do with who you are. Work so hard, like outwork your competition. That is the best way to deal with negativity because you know what? At some point, your actions and your results are going to speak louder than their voice. Block and delete. You day your day, I day my day. You get anything, anything, absolutely anything that will make you chill out. Put your phone away, turn your TV off, and if you are courageous enough, sell the TV off. Your body, your mind, your soul need sleep to repair and recover. Exercise, guys. Yes, I wish I had some dumbbells. You got to deal with stress because when stress is left untreated, you're vulnerable to hypertension, you're vulnerable to cancer, you're vulnerable to depression. So deal with that stressful life. Life is like the Olympic, guys. So much is happening, but you can't participate in every race. You have to find the race that you qualify to participate in and focus. Find what success means to you. Then grow in that area through reading books or listening to podcasts or programs like this because you know success is something you attract by the person you become. Good things take time. There is magic in the process. Stop running away from the process because it is the process or what others call the wilderness that prepares you and your character for your promised land. Purpose pulls you to your future and purpose pulls you through your challenges. The clearer the purpose, the more powerful the pull. What is pulling you? Everybody was created to bring something to the table. What is that thing you were created to bring to the table? Write down the things you hate doing. Yes, I mean the things you hate doing. Do it now whilst I wait. The reason you must confront your pain is when you don't confront it, it becomes chronic. You now have chronic pain, and you know what they say, hurt people hurt people, or wounded soldiers wound soldiers. So can I just suggest to you that when pain comes your way, instead of saying, why me? You ask, what do I do with this pain? Because why is like an argument. Forgiveness is not a feeling. You might not feel like forgiving them. Forgiveness is a decision. Success is never what people think of you. Success is what you think of yourself. So if your dreams are to start a juice business, you are success. Successful is not an amount you have in your bank account. Success is doing, having the capacity, the privilege to do what it is that you dream of doing. I want to get famous so people can think I'm awesome. Then you are literally digging your own grave because fame can be the worst thing that can happen to you. And this year, I decided I'm going to have conversations with Michelle Obama, with Trevor Noah, with Robin Sharma, with Tony Robbins by reading their books. Before I go any further, no matter what your predicament or situation or circumstance is, you have something to be grateful for. Every time I count my blessings, I count you as one of them. Actually, yes you, I count you twice. I'm grateful for my parents, I'm grateful, like dude, I'm grateful for a lot of things, but what I'm mostly grateful for are the gift of people that I have in my life that help my dreams become a reality. Imagine if the whole world practiced gratitude every single day, would we not be a better world? Amandla! Personally, I think everybody is enough, but for you to be good enough to work with me is you have to bring your heart to the table. So for me, happiness has to be a journey for you 
and happiness has to be progress. For me, happiness is progress. I'm happy when I'm making progress, when I'm making progress with my diet, when I'm making progress with my relationships, when I'm making progress in the gym. As long as I'm making progress, I'm happy. Like mindset, we can change that. Something like skill set, we can acquire that. But when somebody's heart is not in the right place, it's very difficult to work with somebody whose heart is not in the right place. So for me, for you to be enough to work with me, I think your heart has to be in the right place. One problem I would fix is me, because I am in my world, I live with myself every single day, so if there's anything to work on in anybody's life, out of the seven billion problems we have in the world, everybody needs to work on this problem. Mugabe personally spent 11 years in prison where when, even when he lost his, um, his only son to malaria, he was not even allowed to go and mourn his son. When you think about Robert Mugabe, you think about the liberation of Zimbabwe, you think about the liberation of Namibia, you think about the liberation of South Africa. Like, comment and share because love is what makes the world go round. So until next year, I hope you have enjoyed Makosi today. I hope you have enjoyed the decade. Until next year, take care of yourself and take care of each other.